Ladies and gentlemen, Jungkook, 3D feed Jack Harlow. Now, I didn't know this was happening, but one person uh, sent me this link a while ago. That's the only reason I knew it. I kind of wish she didn't send it to me because then I would have just been surprised. I don't keep up to date with all of this stuff. So whenever these collaborations happen, like when you know, y'all remember when J Hope and J Cole did a song together? I didn't see it coming, and nobody told me. I did, on the release date is when I found out, and I'm like, oh, this is amazing. But this one, I kind of knew a couple days or something in advance. But hey, people tend to spoil with the best intention, so we can't blame them. Nothing against anybody. It's kind of hard to stay away from spoilers nowadays, especially if you're on social media all the time. If you're a public presence and like all that crap. I'ma like the video, go subscribe to High Blados, go support Jungkook and Jack Harlow. I never thought in my life that Jack Harlow and Jungkook would be making a song. It's just not something I was expecting. So let's see where this is going, man. Audio good, guys. Guessing it's gonna be an ink. One, two, three. I can touch it through the phone. To the universe In another time zone That's the only time I can reverse But when there's two dimensions There's only one I'm missing And if you feel alone And you don't have to feel that no more I just wanna see you like that See you like that So if you're ready And if you let me Hey, zoom in on those boots. Zoom in on those boots real quick. What are those? Nah, but jokes aside, nah, but for real, what is that? But jokes aside, you know, what in the, you know, Donald Duck boots is going on, goofy boots. But I'm liking this already. I'm liking the vibe of it. The sound stylistically, I literally glanced over to look at chat and I saw what I was going to say, Michael Jackson. I'm getting uh, MJ vibes from this. I'm getting old school 80s, 90s type of vibes from it, but it's like a little, a little bit dark undertone towards it. You know, it's got that boy band element to it, but it's a little bit darker, you know, it's just a little, a little grimy, which, which is a good thing. I wasn't expecting the sound to be fair. Pretty good. One, Sounds pretty two, good. Three. I can touch it through the phone. I can touch it through the universe. Bum, bum. In another time zone. That's the only time I can reverse. But when there's two dimensions, there's only one I'm missing. And if you feel alone, and you don't have to feel that no more. There's a thing that happens with, uh, with men. You know, the more they mature, the older they get. You know, they age like, not all of them, but most men, they age like Fan Wan. I think he's going to be a perfect example of it. Plus, he's got, he's got those genetics that will make him look younger for a longer period of time. Plus, he doesn't have facial hair. Like, like he's looking good. Like, he, he you know, of course, you know, being real, he was handsome before, right? But now that he's developing, you know, more masculine features, you're growing up as a dude, man. He's, he's not super young anymore. He's like, what, mid, going towards late 20s? He's not kid anymore, bro. When this dude is going to be in his 30s and all the other members too, like, I think that's when they're going to, like, look their best and probably be in their prom. You know, you're going to go and see him in business suits and all that. It's going to be just, uh, like, all the fans are already going crazy for them right now. Just, just give it a couple years. Yeah. the waves in the platform Very nice. 
if you know what what uh visually what stands out here is the per the perspective the placement of the camera it's all the, it's always this top down angle you ha had uh, them playing around with the gravity like he was you know uh different types of him on the stairs there's a there's one where it, it looks up there's one where it looks down the perspective is great videographer perspective is it's done it's executed very well of course it's it's a what do you expect it's a high labels music video you know what i mean so uh and i forgot i'm i'm sick my brain is like eh? drinking that potion i just want to see you like See? That was nice. Cook, take a chick off one look, and when they get took, they don't ever get untook. When I seen that body, you would think it was a dead body. The way I told my boys, come look, I used to take girls up to Stony Brook and steal their hearts like some crook. True story. Now, when I hold somebody's hand, it's a new story. All my ABGs get cute for me. I had one girl, too boring. Too what the fuck is he wearing, bro? Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is sound real good. But somebody need to talk to them. They're stylists sometimes. Like, especially Jack, bro. What you wearing, bro? <laughs> looking like, looking like one of them aunties at the, at the barbecue. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. He looking like a he looking like an architect auntie you know, and I ain't gonna lie. But no 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 but Jack Harlow if there's one thing Jack Harlow's good at is being smooth. This dude is suave smooth. He's the definition of it. With the ladies and whatever you call it, but also on, on beats, he's fucking smooth. Like when he drops a verse, usually it's it's ah, it's just it's it's just hits where it needs to hit. I I like Jack Harlow, but if y'all don't know I'm a big Jack Harlow fan. Young cook, take a chick off one look, and when they get took, they don't never get untook. When I seen that body, you simplistic junk, junk cook, untook one look, simplistic double syllable rhyme, but it just works, you know, it's sharp delivery. I think it was a dead body. The way I told my boys, come look, I come look, tying back like one bar goes off. It's a, it's like a how do you how do you call this a a b a type of rhyme, you know, everything right, one look, junk cook, and then an undead body. Come look at the end, he tied it back to the double syllable. Like I could be breaking this down super technically, but there's no point to it. It's it doesn't require it, and and that's good. Sometimes, like what uh, one thing that Jack Harlow does well, in my opinion, is he he'll he'll he's capable of doing technical things. He's capable of he has penmanship game, but he'll sacrifice. He'll be one of those artists to sacrifice an intricate rhyme that might be too technical, overcomplicated, fly over the listener's head, and sacrifice that technicality for something that's audibly pleasing. And a lot of times, this is something that very technical, or like rapper rappers, lyrical rappers they are not capable of doing that or they don't make that type of sacrifice and a lot of the times it's just and it just starts to sound like all of their rap is just lyrical tantrums and that's just basically the opinion of like what people think of eminem nowadays when you think about it like that dude is just like fuck it screw out of the piece and it's like yeah okay but there's still an audience for that but majority of the people just like to even me nowadays i just really like to sometimes just hear an audibly pleasing verse that's one of the reasons why i really like j cole because he has a perfect balance j cole's one of my favorites he has a perfect balance of being technical lyrical but also just making it sound dope and the delivery he punches on his punchlines you know what i mean i'll let it play Young cook, yeah. take a chick off one, one look, look, and when they get took, they don't never get untook. untook. When I seen that body, you would think it was a dead, dead body. body. The way I told my boys, come, come look. look, I used to take girls up to Stony Brook and steal their hearts like some crook. True story. Now when I hold somebody's hand, it's a new story. All my ABGs get cute for me. I have one girl. Tell me he doesn't look like a a, a, a middle-aged architect woman, right? Tell me. Come on. Too boring. Two girls, that was cool for me. Three girls, damn, dude's horny. Four girls, okay, now you horny. 
What was okay? What was the counting? What was it? Well, one girl, two girl. Dude's horny. You whoring. What the fuck was this? I'm loose. I don't put these songs to good use. I don't put my city on my back in the world. Know my name on the truth. So if you're ready, I and if you let me, I wanna see it in motion in 3D. Please show me Jack Harlow bust it down right now. Please show me him doing breakdance. That'd be fucking hilarious. See it in motion, in it's good vibes. It's good vibes. It's a good vibe song. Little choreography sprinkle. Visually nice. Old school denim esque attires. Leather denim. Very nice. I got you playing with yourself on camera. Damn dog, like, hey man, ever since Jungkook went solo, he he either like started to say shit like fucking you for seven days a week, which is you know it is what it is. It's just sometimes like it wasn't necessary, and now he got this guy, this this horny ass dude on the fucking track, and I like Jack Harlow, but sometimes it's like, hey yo bro, chill bro. Like, like hey yo bro, chill bro. You know what I mean? Come on bro. I got you playing with yourself on camera. You my bae just like Tampa. Speaking of bucks, I got those. And as for fucks, well, not those. And as for thoughts, well, do you really want to know? I thought so. Nice, nice, nice. I fly nice. you from Korea I don't to got Kentucky. No fucks. And you ain't got to guarantee me nothing. I just want to see if I get lucky. I just want to meet you in the physical and see if you would touch me. Okay. A little unorthodox flow at the end, but I liked it. I like that. Interesting collaboration. I didn't expect this collaboration, and I, I don't know, I wasn't sure what to expect of this collaboration. But now, now listening to it, was it something I expected? No, as a whole patch, I didn't expect this. But I'm still not super surprised of that. It that they, I'm surprised that they collaborated, but I'm not surprised that they made this. It actually works perfectly fine. It works. It's it's not too much of uh, this and that. I th I actually prefer this Jungkook song. I think out of the so solo work, audibly, I prefer this one the most, I believe. I'll have to re-listen to the other ones, but I actually really like that personally. So go support the original, guys. Go support the original.